Rocky, and here is your first sketch. It is all set, folks. Nothing can go wrong. He will never suspect where I've planted the bomb. Splendid. By tonight, all my dreams will come true. All the power, wealth, oil. Yes, it shall be mine. And I, I will replace this Bonnie Sodder as president of Iran. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, boss, they're coming. Yeah. supporters. That should cover everything. For the first time in our history, our future looks bright, which is more than I can say for most of you. Our government has never been more stable, and it certainly smells that way from here. I'm proud to be standing here, a man who's worked his way up from total ignorance into a high position of incredible stupidity. My friends, it's high time we all did what we came here to do. Wake us if there's a war. Mr. President, Mr. President, we have finally captured the Shah's mother. Look, she possesses his arrogance. And a shower cap. And his insolence. And a shower cap. And his money. And his money. Can't you see what I'm trying to tell you? I love you. I want you. I can see you now sitting in a rocking chair, knitting an enemies list. Ah, you and I, strolling along a moonlit beach, your hair blowing in the wind, and you chasing after it. Oh, oh, Mr. President. Call me Bonnie. <laughs> oh, you're so full of wit. Well, I knew I was full of something. <laughs> secret information, secret information. Get your red hot secret information. Bobby, I think I, I think I smell a rat. Secret information. Hey, secret information. What kind of secret information you got? I uh, know, can I tell you? That's why it's a secret. Well, I walked right into that one. We got a top of secret, and then we got a bottom of secret. Top of secret, you got to stand on a chair to read. Cost the $20, but I throw in the chair for free. Ah, well, you certainly drive a hard bargain. Are you related to the Ayatollah? If I had told you once, I had told you a thousand times. 20 bucks, and we throw in the chair for free. That's a terrible joke. It's a terrible chair, that's why I throw it in for free. Looks like the chair's throwing itself in for free. Hey, I think I know this chair. Binky! <laughs> What's the matter? What? What is it? Yeah? That guy over there? He won. I dig. I, I don't dig. You dig. I, I don't dig you at all. What? Plant. He plant. What? Plant what? Yeah? Go on. Drink. Another. Drunk. Stone. Bomb. 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 He planted a bomb. He planted a bomb. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. We gotta find the bomb. You take, keep the parliament busy. I'd rather keep the Shah's mother busy. Members of the parliament. I've just made a new deal with Jimmy Carter. 
If he, if we, we'll release the hostages if he releases my latest hit album. Bonnie Sada sings Simon and Garfunkel. Oh! I'll take it up with Garfunkel. <laughs> Good boy, think you find it a bomb. Throw it away, throw it away. Did you? Don't you know that I'm the only one that can do that here? Take him away. Mr. President, the American press corps is here. They want you to make a statement to the United States. United States, eh? I've got something to say to the United States. <laughs> We're running out of money. We're at each other's throats. Banks the whole world over are freezing up our notes. But when we get in trouble, we know just what to do. We scream and shout and pop up out and put the blame on Edition, FBI, CIA, and other cancer-causing agents. This is the Friday Edition with your correspondent, Melanie Chartoff. Chardoff, and these are tonight's top stories. This Sunday evening, presidential candidates Ronald Reagan and John Anderson will square off in the first of three proposed televised debates. However, the League of Women Voters has decided against representing President Carter with an empty chair. Here, a League of Women Voters carpenter stands among more than 900 chairs he built in an attempt to represent the president. Said the dejected craftsman, it was hard to build a chair that looks like Jimmy, since most chairs have a strong spine and tend to stick to their positions. <laughs> in a related story, following allegations that she once snorted cocaine in 1978, Amy Carter today resigned her post as daughter of the president. Miss Carter, not available for comment, was last seen setting up road equipment for the Marshall Tucker Band. <laughs> Former Black Panther leader Eldridge Cleaver officially endorsed Ronald Reagan for president this week, proving that Jerry Rubin is not the only guy from the 60s who turned out to be a jerk. <laughs> The Soviet Union Thursday launched the world's first Cuban cosmonaut. Russian authorities announced that the capsule carrying Arnaldo Mendez is bound for link up with Salyut 6. Not to be outdone, the United States today launched 500 Cuban refugees aboard Venus 2. <laughs> and if successful, the spacecraft will circle Venus 30 times and then crash into the sun. <laughs> F. 
FBI officials yesterday released composite drawings of two male subjects sought in connection with the extortion bombing of Harvey's Casino at Lake Tahoe. Admitting that the state of the art of such drawings was far from perfect, police today apologized to George Burns and Rex Harrison, who were held overnight on the charge. <laughs> In other news, an eight-year-old Korean boy who does not speak a word of English was an unwitting victim of a school busing mix-up this week. Jay Hong An was bused Wednesday morning from Third Street Elementary School in Los Angeles to the Ko Ling Elementary School in Seoul, South Korea. <laughs> and in other news, the stability and well-being of Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau came under close scrutiny on Wednesday when cabinet members spotted him calling an empty chair Margaret and sliding his hand between its cushions. <laughs> and finally, this item. Former Nicaraguan dictator Anastasio Somoza died this week in a hail of machine gun and bazooka fire in the Paraguayan capital of Asuncion. Now, although I didn't know Anastasia Somoza personally and only heard secondhand of his brutally repressive regime under which political dissidents were imprisoned, tortured, murdered, I nevertheless feel moved by his passing. Somoza was one of the last of his breed, a dictator's dictator, a despot among despots. He was a good friend to this country and a good friend to certain members of our writing staff, <laughs> to whom he regularly sent small unmarked pass packages through a diplomatic courier named Raoul. <laughs> he will be sorely missed. I'm Melanie Chardoff. Have a good weekend. This has been the Friday edition with your correspondent, Melanie Chardoff. <laughs> You. The name's Mandrell. The prescription was supposed to be ready today. M-A-N-D-R-E-L-L. -L. I can handle it. I can handle it. I can handle it. Just let me check here. I can't find anything. But Hi, can I help you? <laughs> the name's Mandrell. I've been waiting for my prescription for 10 minutes. Is it hot in here? I am sweating. <laughs> sweating like a pig. I... What the hell? Mandrell? Mandrell? Who's Mandrell? Mandrell, I'm Mandrell. Mandrell? Mandrell? Yes. Whoa! That is more than just a coincidence. Wait, wait a second, wait a second, let me check these. Hold on, let me just check the records. Uh, Seven dollars, right? Um, there you go. Seven dollars? Thank uh, you. That's your prescription. Oh, boy, boy. The bell! The bell! I wish I had Would you mind not ringing the bell when you come in? Just come in the door because with... Never mind. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I want to get this filled and I'm in a hurry. What? <laughs> oh, fine, 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 fine. Let me see if we... I have this. I have this. I have this. Hi, can I help you? What is this, deja vu? What? Oh, 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 oh. Did you just see that? No, see what? Green and blue flashing through. Never mind, never mind. It must be me. Because <laughs> you would have seen it. I can handle this. I can handle this. All right. I'm becoming aware of my right thigh. Uh, say, say, could you speed it up a little bit? I'm gonna... <laughs> uh, hi, can I help you? Uh, I don't know. I'm just feeling a little run down. 
Well, take a pill. Yeah. Take a pill. Don't suffer. Don't torture yourself. Take a pill. These are the 1980s. You don't live in a forest. You don't have to chew on a leaf. Take a pill. Let's take it. Millions of dollars go into research. This stuff all comes from laboratories. Take a pill. <laughs> you don't feel good? Take a pill. 15, 20 minutes later, you feel great. If you don't take it with any water, you can feel it all the way down to here. <laughs> I'll try that. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? No, I'm not hungry. Well, listen, I haven't eaten all day. I'm starved. I've just got to get something to eat. I just... Mm. Uh, that's enough for me. Uh, why do I do it? Why do I... Uh, I always stuff myself. I, uh, uh, hey, man, I could sure use that prescription. Certainly, I can do it now, or I can do it later. It's just a question of time. Do you believe in time? I don't. I don't. Time is just a huge conglomeration of seconds. You see, there goes one, there goes another one, there goes another one, there goes another one. She's done away with all the seconds. All you'd have are big hands and little hands. <gasps> That's unthinkable. I... <sighs> Eardrops. <laughs> Say, what time is it? Oh, it's about 5.30. 5.30? I've got to get this thing built. <laughs> I have a complaint about this prescription. You gave me birth control pills. There are too many people in here. There are too many people in here. Why are you ganging up on me? Is this a robbery? No! I can handle it! I can handle it! That's all right. Everything's fine. Relax. There's no robbery. There's no robbery. Everything's under control. I'm not pressing charges. I can handle it. I can handle it. The heart. Oh, the heart. Sounds like a machine gun. It's important to keep the heart beating as slow as possible. As slow I'm all this pressure, all this tension. I'm a pharmacist. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. All right, there it is. Uh, I can handle it. I can handle it. walk a beat when you're a cop with roids. You take me off the floor. I'm a cop, damn it. I'm not gonna let these things beat me. He learned to walk lightly and carry a big stick. Hello, officer. Get those things checked. I'm a cop, damn it! I'm not gonna let these things beat me! A big city cop with a burning desire and guts to spare. Well, I don't know how you do it. There's something inside me. Coming this fall.
a cop with Royce. And now, here are the cards! Oh, I know. It's gone. 
Thank you very much for that beautiful audience. I just flew in from Miami. Boy, am I being tired. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Some say a chicken's life is fun and frolic, and so do I, and so do I. Some say the best on Western chocolate with side of rye, with side of rye. But I, I like to spend my time avoiding the fortune blade that's why it's paid. To fill the air with feathers while we're flying, I'm not afraid, my eggs are laid. Tyrants, butchers, play your evil games. Slaughter, poultry, do you feel no shame? With wings and drumsticks, white me, dark me, can you see it's all the same? I'm not afraid, I'd rather die and face the flame. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Well, that's it. Special thanks for watching. Special thanks to the cars for being with us. Next week, guest star Valerie Bertinelli and a special appearance by the Jim Carroll Band. This show, as they all are, for you, Bill. Thanks a lot. Okay. You're welcome.